Hello, lovely people. <laughs> I did it. I did it again. <laughs> I keep doing it. So I have a bad habit of bouncing around from hobby to hobby, idea to idea. I just get an itch to start something new. That's probably why I never get far because I'm stretched too thin. <laughs> Anyway, I don't mind it. As long as I'm having fun, I am happy to explore whatever hobby piques my interest at the moment. So for the past month or two, I've been getting into creating designs to put on Redbubble to sell and share. Redbubble is a print-on-demand site, and the thing I like most about it is that there's so many different products that you can put your designs on instead of just t-shirts or clothing and apparel. You have, you know, like shower curtains and mugs and backpacks and I just like the array of products. I think it's pretty good. So now I have created my own <laughs> Red Bubble haul. I got a big bag. Oh, I love stuff, especially when it's my stuff. So I'm going to open this. I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to review the products that I've gotten. I'm going to share it with you all and we'll see. Uh, this is my first time ordering from Redbubble, so I'm curious to see how good the quality is and what my designs look like when they are placed on different products. So, yeah, let's open this up. Ah. <laughs> okay, so starting out... Wow. Oh, okay. So we're starting out with the backpack right out the gate. Wow, this is neat. So this is a logo backpack that I've created. And the thing that I noticed right away, I was actually afraid is not the right word afraid is too strong a word i was concerned that the aqua might come out too bright because here is what it looked like when i designed it on the site and now here you can see it's a very pale color so the black is black you know it's kind of like off black but the aqua color, it's so pale. It's almost like a, a mint, a hint of green, off-white type of deal. That's so interesting. I kind of like it because I didn't, I didn't want it to be too bright. And it's not too bright at all. Wow. Okay, so we've got a zipper. Kind of like a standard backpack zipper. Nice. Water bottle holder. That's cool. Now let's see what the inside of this backpack looks like. Okay, okay. So I can put like my name inside it if I wanted to. Go ahead and focus on that, will ya? And they have a sleeve for your laptop. And then it's just one big backpack pocket. Okay, so not a crazy... Not a crazy backpack. I wasn't expecting anything too crazy, but just this outside pocket alone will be very useful. The current backpack that I use doesn't have an outside pocket, so sometimes it's very inconvenient to have to open the whole backpack just to get a small item. All right, all right. I like this so far. Um, you know, I can see where some people might be disappointed that the color came out so much paler than what it showed on the website, but I don't mind at all because, you know, I don't want a kiddish cartoon looking backpack, so I didn't want it to come out too bright, so it certainly did not come out too bright. And later I'm going to do a pack check, a stuff check to see how much can fit in here. All right, excellent. I like it so far. One item down. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. So this must be a bunch of clothes. I wonder what's in here. Oh! Oh no, it's just one thing. Okay. So this is the blanket that I got. Wow. It's so soft. 
Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm uh, holding it this way because I want to see the design, but I got to show the camera because you got to see the design. Okay, okay. It's a really big blanket. Oh, it's so soft. And it's so good for snuggling up. Oh, and you still can't see the whole thing. <laughs> Can you see that? It's a huge blanket. You can kind of see the size of it, but what is not really showing up is the actual like pattern. Here's what it looks like online. And I can kind of see all like, you see here's a bunch of blue that fades into the purple and pink. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> and then you can see all the speckles. So there's like purple and blue, and then it goes into like the pink and then gray and then back to purple. So yeah, I like it a lot because this blanket is so soft. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap up in it. Oh man. <laughs> All right, blanket folds up nice and small. <laughs> so here's the other one, let's open this up. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm excited for this one. So this, you see this little, <laughs> you see that little astronaut? This is a dress I bought made out of a space collage that I put together. Wow, I kind of forgot that I got this. <laughs> All right, give me one second. I'm going to try this on real quick. <laughs> what do you think? Actually, I like this a lot. It's super cute. I like the pattern a lot more than I thought I would. This is such a neat thing. I would totally just walk around going shopping wearing this dress. Now the material of the dress is a lot thinner than I thought it would be, but that's not a complaint, it's just an observation. It's a nice summer dress that I could just wear anywhere. And I love, I love, I love, 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 love. I love how the patterns came out. They're bright and obvious. And it's such a fun dress. I love this so much. This is my favorite item so far. <laughs> I'm so giddy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that tells me that all of the things I ordered hasn't arrived yet. So that's fine. Once they arrive, I'll, uh, I'll finish the video and you'll still get to see it here, no problem, due to the magic of editing. But I do still have one more box for you guys. Ah, so let's see what's in here. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so these are the notebooks I got. So let me open them. Ooh. Okay, so here's the first notebook. This is the space collage again uh, in a different color, but it's the same design. So hopefully you can get a better picture of like, you know, just different cute, Space icons that I put together. <laughs> I had so much fun creating this collage and now it's in a book and it's on a dress. <laughs> so this notebook, hmm, okay, you know, average, the lines are average size, not too big, not too small. So that's pretty good. I think the notebook itself is smaller than I expected it to be, but uh, you know, this is, uh, that's fine. So many times I just need to jot something down. So this is a fun little notebook that I can use to do that. Uh, the cover page is kind of a hard, I mean, it's not that hard. It's hard paper or not hard cardboard, however you want to look at it. It's nice and sturdy, it's sturdy enough. So the design is on the front and there's no design on the back. But it's pretty cool. So this is going to be my personal notebook. And then I got another one. Ah, I love how this turned out. So this is a picture that I took of the Seattle Space Needle. 
So I took it from below on a beautiful sunny day with feathery clouds. It's not often that Seattle has a blue skies and feathery clouds like this, so I thought I really like this picture of the space needle that I took. So I put it on my book, so this will be more of a professional one. I mean, not that it matters, but I'd be more likely to take this in professional settings than this one. So I like them. I like them both. And I love how the designs came out. I love how this picture came out. I love how my collage came out. So I'm very happy with these two. <laughs> All right. So the last item that I have to review today, I believe this is a mug. Let's take it out. mug cool so this is another one of my designs just something I put together in Photoshop experimenting with colors you can kind of get this box out of my frame make it all pretty sort of just a rainbow cloud collage and now it's in a mug so let's see I can all right, so you can open the top and you know drink from it, and then you can either drink from it or put a straw inside of it. Hold on, let me see something because I thought this seems smaller than I expected too. So give me one second. Okay, so here's the tumbler. Are those what these are called? Just for comparison, you know, here's the one I usually use if I'm bringing something hot with me. Oh. Uh, it's quite a bit smaller, but it's not that small. Well, I mean, take it for what you will. I should know how many fluid ounces are in here. I don't know. So I'll uh, research that and put it on the screen so you can see here what the sizes are. <laughs> All right, let me open this all the way. So how do you snag this off? Okay, it's a screw on. In case there's like plastic inside. No problem, I'll give it a good wash before I use it. Okay, this is kind of cute. This is kind of nice. <laughs> and like the good thing about these is that you can make it look however you want it to look like. Because you can really just do your own design and then have it come out how you want it to. So yeah, no, I like this too. All right, that's it for what has been delivered. I'm supposed to get a t-shirt and socks and I think a couple other things, so you'll see it in just a second. Okay, while we're here, I'm gonna see how much stuff I can stuff in this backpack. So, so we've got a laptop and a laptop holder. Fits there snugly and perfect. Surface headphones in the case. Charger for the laptop. Nice and snug. Two notebooks. Can fit right in the laptop sleeve. A change of clothes. These are just some tights and a t-shirt. Right, that can fit in there pretty good. Some socks. Now let's do some things in the outside pocket. We've got a wallet. Keys. Hmm. This is a sunglasses case with the sunglasses inside. There you go. Hmm. I'll put this in the main compartment, throw it on top here. Still got a good bit of room. This is a thin beach towel. All right, that fits in there nicely. Okay, let me see. All right, zips up easily. Still have more space for things. This is a GoPro camera. So the GoPro fits in this little baggie. There's also an extra battery in there as well. Let's see, will this fit in the outside pocket? Yep, 
fits in here nicely. There's also a camera stand for the GoPro. I'm gonna put this in here as well. Now, here's a camera stand for my camera. If I wasn't recording, I'd put my camera in the bag as well, but my camera's not that large. So I'll put this in here. A light sweater. Ooh, this fits in here nicely as well. I think this is kind of getting snug to capacity. I can fit one or two more things in here if I wanted to. But let's go ahead and fit the tumbler in the drink pouch. It goes in there like that. And I think this is a full backpack. Ooh, I can fit one more item. Okay, this is a bathing suit. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Still no issues with the zipper. All right, now it's filled to capacity. Put this on. <laughs> oh man. Uh, adjust this a little bit longer. I totally feel like a schoolgirl. <laughs> you can't tell me I don't look like a schoolgirl. <laughs> I got my nice dress on and my Sea Life in HD backpack. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love it. As you can see, I fit quite a, a good amount of stuff in here. These are just things that I could potentially carry with me just a day pack or a if I was traveling, like I might use it as a carry-on. But no, I am very much satisfied. I like how it looks and I love all the things you can pack in it. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed my Red Bubble haul. If you're interested in following my Red Bubble shop, the link is in the description. Check it out, see what other products I have. Also, check out my website, icylifeinhd.com. The link is also in the description browse through my blog post you might find an interesting story or two and if you like this video hit the like button I appreciate it it makes me so happy when I see just two or three or ten people like the video it's just it's a very small channel so it really helps me out and it makes my day thank you all for joining me on this unboxing experience hope you all have a lovely day I'll see you next time bye Ooh, it's so soft. I'm gonna curl up just like this tonight. <laughs>